Morning everyone, this is 3 Minutes of Truth. Do you know, realize that we were created for fellowship with God? That was the main reason, I believe, that He created us. We put all sorts of other things in front of that and, we, and think that maybe He created us to work, maybe He created us to praise Him, all those things. But the first thing He did with Adam and Eve was talk to them in the garden. So I believe that was one of the, most, the chief things that He wanted when He created man was fellowship. Um, we think of Abraham. Abraham was called from his home into a new country that he didn't know at all. He often was visited by angels and Melchizedek and he knew God well enough to bargain with God for Sodom and Gomorrah and he was called a friend of God. And then there's David. David alone in the felt with his um, harp and his sheep and he used to praise and he communicated with God right from then. Then we know the Psalms and how he used to pour out his heart, the good, the bad, the ugly. And then right at the end, there's always a few verses where he says, yes, but you are God and you know everything and I will serve you and praise you. And David was called a man after God's own heart. So wouldn't we like to be called the friend of God or the man after God's own heart? We have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit knows everything and sees everything. And he's our comforter, our guide, our teacher, our friend, lots of things, many things, but he's always with us. He's always waiting for us to communicate with him. And the word says, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. So let's not wait for the Holy Spirit to come and, and draw near to us, but let's take the first step as the word says, and draw near to him and make him our best friend, the one that we communicate with, the one that we tell everything to, the one that we can trust, our best friend. There is power in a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I know someone who was having an early morning cup of coffee, all on her own in the garden on a stone step. And the Holy Spirit said to her, so what do you want to do today? And she started and she thought, well, right now all I want to do is sit here and have this cup of coffee in the quiet. And the Holy Spirit said to her, okay, then I'll just sit here with you. And she will never, ever, ever forget what it was like sitting and aware of the Holy Spirit right there by her in that early morning. When she walks past that stone step in the garden, she remembers that clearly. The Lord always wants to be with us. He sent his, um, his Holy Spirit for that reason. We can share anything we do, we think, we say, we feel. And we don't have to think we can make ourselves more acceptable by uh, doing this, cleaning up that, no more cigarettes, no more swearing, no more. When I've done all those things, I will be able to be um, communicate with the Holy Spirit. No. Think of the father and the prodigal son. He came just as he was, filthy and full of rags, and the Father accepted him, and that is how he accepts us. And anyway, we need the power of the Holy Spirit in order to make any changes in our life. Jesus had an intimate relationship with his Father. He often went off on his own and prayed and communicated with the Lord. That's why he could say, I do what I see my Father doing, and I say what I hear him saying. And that is what the Lord wants from us. My name is Jenny and this was 3 Minutes of Truth.